What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. So everybody with these speculations of who's really to blame for this stuff? Is it YouTube that flagged the blogging channels? Is it the uh, the top league that flagged the blog channel channels? Is it the other bloggers that flagged the blogging channel? Or is it the fans that flagged and took down the uh, the other bloggers in them channel? For the top three, for the top three, well, the top two. This stuff is easy to, to really find out. You take the top. Take the battle rap media. Let's just take the league on. They watching, so they definitely know what's going on. If you didn't do it or had no knowledge of anybody that did do it, why, why would it be hard to just come out and say that? Why would it be hard to just come out and say that? See, this stuff is easy. This stuff's simple. It's, look, it's easy to pull somebody's card. It's easy to challenge somebody. Like, for instance, watch this. I'm going to do it right now today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really pull their cards and show y'all. And this is how y'all going to know who was involved or and who had knowledge of it. Now, if a person wasn't involved and didn't have knowledge of it, they had no problem doing this whatsoever at all. I even did to prove my innocence. And this is definitely a trial. People may not think it ain't that serious. It's definitely that serious. Anytime you uh anytime you taking away from people hard work that they put in, whether you like it or not, any way you eradicating a person's entire fan base. One person or two, three, four, or five just eradicating a whole person, entire channel of fan base just because you don't like them. That's malicious. That's malice. That's malice with the intent to hurt. So anytime you take away somebody financial, uh, financial things they were doing to help them out financially. So you hurt them financially. Then you eradicate their fan base. You basically literally snitched and told on them. And uh, you literally just showing your heart and character. Now, let's talk about this, man. Let's just talk about this. Caps had almost 30,000 subscribers. When you removed that person's channel, you told 30,000 people they don't have a right to watch this, and you don't care. Jim's had 20,000. You told 20,000 people, I say what y'all like and what you don't like, and I say this coming down, and I don't care how you think or feel. Piper Boy had probably like 16 or 17. So you took 17,000 people and told them, we don't care about y'all neither. I'm taking this down no matter what nobody say. You don't think that's shifty? You don't think that's dirty? You don't think that's very fraudulent? So you didn't took these brothers, then you didn't hurt these brothers financially, even though they probably got jobs and they probably got other income coming in. But you mean to tell me extra money help? Them brothers ain't rich. Any extra help them out in their life and their bills and their and they, uh, children and family. So you, 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 you took the strike at them financially. And what about the battle rap community? <clears throat> Who for the most part, the people involved is supposed to be uh, supplying and feeding the battle rap community. What are you saying about them? So definitely, definitely, a call of duty is required and demanded. Now, how do we flush these things out? How do we really show the people and culprits that's involved? How do we do this? Let me tell you exactly how we do this. You challenge and order them to come forward. Come forward as men. Come forward as women. If men and women are involved. 
and you have them swear before the battle rap community on everything that they love, that they didn't do it, nor had knowledge of anybody that done it. See, let me tell you something about this. They can lie to us, but they can't lie to the people who know that they knew and had knowledge of it, which makes them look bad in their inner circle also. For each and every last one of them. For each and every last one of them. See, because either way it goes, what it does is show that person that he will lie even if it was uh, 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 a situation was brought up about them. Even though he may be lying to take up for them. One thing about it, they know that he would do it. And it also shows the extent that they willing to go to cover the lie. When you got loved ones who passed away. When you got people who you love right now. Because when, cause when cause think about this. When people, when people want you to believe them. And they don't feel you believe them. What they say? On oh, my mama. On oh, my dead people. Or I swear to God. Remember in battle rap? Let's play swear to God. <coughs> Remember that? Let's play swear to God. So they do that in battle rap. This ain't no different. This ain't no different. And let me tell y'all something. We know some of these guys who accused in these situations. We know they took losses. They, they came publicly talking about it. Are they willing to come forward and put it on their loved ones that they didn't do it, nor had knowledge of it? That's what you do. See, that, and I'm challenging them to do it. Come forward. Say it. Say, put it on everything you love that y'all had nothing to do with taking down these brothers' channels. Come forward. Do it. Do it. I do it. I do it right here. See, I'm going to be the first to do it. I ain't going to just tell y'all. And I know they, they watch me. They watch me. They know me all up. Come on. Can we be honest? Don't everybody in battle rap know me? Just so it wouldn't be no excuses of people saying, oh, I ain't see that. I ain't hear about it. We can agree to that, right? I, I, I am known in this now, right? Definitely have to be. Everybody know who I am by now, so they definitely watching, especially when I say this. Now, I had a child of mine that died, and people know that by watching pages, Kalini. But my nephew also died. My mother and my father also died. My girlfriend even died, Suzanne. And a lot of my homies passed and died. And I could put that on everything I love. On my brothers. My brother got killed. On my mother and father who did. I put it on my mother, father. I put that on my son also. I put that on my girlfriend, Suzanne. And I put that on my dead homies who passed. I didn't take down none of their channels. Neither did I have knowledge of their channels being taken down. That's a fact. And my God is a witness to that knowledge. So even before my God, I can testify and say that with an honest heart. I swear of that. Right hand up on my dead people, on my family, on my loved ones. I had no knowledge of nobody's channel being taken down and neither did I take down anybody's channel. See that? See how simple that is? Do you see how simple that was? See, when you're innocent, it don't matter. You don't care about doing that. You clearing your name and you showing people you are a person with character and integrity. Now, do you think they gonna do it? And some of y'all may be like, oh, they don't have to do it. What well, you saying that because you wasn't affected by it. But it does mean something to the person who was affected by it, who think that they had something to do with it. And see, some people you can just scratch off. They not above that. You took money out of people's pockets. You took away years of people's hard work. You told the battle rap community they don't have a right to like who they like. 
So of course you owe it to, to the whole entire battle rap community. From the top on down. Now, for the most part, let's be honest. Anytime some type of fraudulent thing is happening, anytime some type of fraudulent thing is happening or something is happening in uh in um in battle rap or something that got their name entangled in it, they quick to come out and give an explanation about it, good or bad. Oh, we don't owe nobody no money. We pay all things. They quick to do that. Come on somebody platform and do they quick to do that. They haven't done it. They haven't done it. And the how and the Hawaiian dude who be practicing karate, kicking coconuts and stuff, he this what he does. He the spokesperson for doing that stuff. He ain't said nothing. Why you ain't saying nothing? See what I'm saying? That's a sign of guilt. Sweeping things under the rug, turning a blind eye to it, plugging your ears like you don't know what's going on. And you clearly see what's going on. And this do benefit them. You know how it benefit them? Because it turns all the traffic to them. That's what it does. At least for the time being, for right now. But at the same time, man, this stuff is easy. It's easy to flush these things out. I'm subpoenaing them to come to the Battle Truth Court. To go on the blog, all the top ones, all the top ones, they know who they is, all the top ones. Put it on something, put it on something you love that you had nothing to do with. Put it on something you love that you ain't have nothing to do with. That's what we do, right? Yeah, we do that. Everybody do that. So come forward, put it on something you love. That you wasn't responsible for taking down these channels or had the knowledge of anybody that was going to do it. See, either way it go. Show your innocence. Claim your innocence before the battle rap community who is demanding to know what's going on. They want to know. They want to know. I don't need to know because I already know the business. I ain't dumb at all. That's why I'm saying this, y'all. It's easy to flush these things out. It's easy to flush these things out. And anybody who don't come forward and do that, that's guilt. They cut the cameras on for everything else. So you don't want to cut the camera on to prove you innocent, to clear your name or your innocence or your brand. So if you don't do that, there go y'all right there. Anybody who don't do that, there y'all go right there. They know it from the top to the bottom. That's how you do that. Just that simple and easy. Ain't that the... Am I right or wrong? Ain't that what goes on in battle rap? When two battle rappers on stage, when they want the truth to come out, what they say? Let's play swear to God. They do that, right? Okay. Swear. Swear before the battle rap community. But put it on something you love that we know. That we know you love. And we know some of, some of y'all took losses. We, we know who they are. We know who they are. Let's see do your loved ones mean more to you than your lies. Let's see do your loved ones mean more to you than your scandals. Let's see. Let's see. See, that's how y'all do that. That's how we do that, y'all. Put it on something. Every last one of y'all, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Real talk. Let's see. Because like I said, they could lie to us. They could lie to us. But for the other parties who know that they know, hear them lie on their loved ones and know that they know that they knew about it and know that they did it, even though they may be covering from them, that's going to always stick in their mind and heart to know, like, dude lied on his loved ones, man, even for me. He... And that guilt you're going to have to live with because you know in your heart you was bogus. You was bogus. And your loved ones crying out to the grave saying, dog, oh, really? You that shifty? Yeah, that's how you do that, y'all. <laughs> that's how you do it, I'm telling you. Make them come forward. That's how you do it. And this battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. 
很不好的，不带龙上面。Oh, another thing, I, I I almost forgot about this. So, say for instance, a league say something like, see, they probably say something like that. Oh, they they make money off of it, stuff like that. But stop it. You making money off? That's that ain't that's what y'all did. Y'all capitalized and made money off people. Y'all y'all ain't the first battle rap league. Y'all ain't start this. You capitalized off something other people was making money off of, but then you made it and you built it and you exposed you exposed and ex, you exploited. You exploited a lot of young people and got advantage of, and now you in a position where now now y'all think y'all 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 all uh uh. Y'all gods or something like that, man. No, 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 no. Because the light-skinned big dude always be trying to say something like that. And the crazy thing about it is, come on, when he get to opening his mouth saying stuff like that, you sound crazy, fam, because that's exactly what you did, man. You came in and then you wormed your way in and you started capitalizing off of what you seen other people doing. Mooping them publicly saying this, like, we didn't know them. We didn't know them. They were just dudes with the camera. We were putting up the $5,000. That sounds like jackpot. $5,000. They putting up $5,000. That's $10,000. Jackpot. Let's capitalize off of it. You wasn't before grind time. You wasn't before fight club. You wasn't before lion's den. Come on, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Y'all is not the forefathers of this stuff. Y'all didn't create and do this. You exploited it. You exploited it and got financial gain off of it. And now trying to monopolize the game. So using that argument ain't going to help you neither. Ain't going to help you neither. And you can't control people's channels and tell them what to talk about and what not to talk about. Period. So we order y'all to come forward. We order y'all to cut them cameras on for two minutes. Two minutes. Or one, it don't even take that long. Clear your name. If you're really innocent, clear your name. Don't act like you don't hear this. Put that on everything. Clear your name. That's battle true. That's a, this. This gonna show y'all who was involved or not, y'all. This gonna show y'all who was involved or not. And all parties who don't do it, we rest our case, man. That's exactly what it was. And they probably oh, we ain't got. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Y'all disrespected the battle rap community. You took money out of people's pockets. You destroyed their hard work. And you snitched and told on them. So you definitely have to.